This is a patient with pelvic pain, and a pelvic MRI was performed to further evaluate this. Now, we can see on the T2-weighted images, there's a lot of abnormalities going down in the pelvis. If we look at both at Nexa, both ovaries, there's bilateral masses over here. Each of them look pretty similar, but the left one's a little bit bigger. It has varying degrees of T2 signal within it. At the top, a little bit brighter, more intermediate within the middle portion of it, and at the bottom, looks a lot darker. Surrounding this, there's more cystic structures within the adnexa. Those are probably going to be uh, follicles within the ovaries. But we can also get the sense that both these adnexal ovarian masses are sort of tethered to one another. And if you look at the rectum and the sigmoid colon over here, right around this location, there's this dense adhesion, the spiculated T2 hypointense mass that is interposed between this loop of bowel and both adnexa as well as the posterior aspect of the uterus over here. We look at the T1 fat sat pre-contrast images, bright signal within much of these lesions within the adnexa, uh, within the ovaries and surrounding tissues as well. These findings are classic for endometriomas with extensive endometriosis here present in the pelvis, bilateral endometriomas, and you have all these dense adhesions as well um, between uh, all these several structures. We can see these adhesions very nicely as well on the sagittal image and see how loops of bowel are sort of tethered to that posterior aspect of the uterus and tethered to both these uh, adnexal endometriomas.